Hi, my name is Ruben Hostetler, and today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to use LastPass. LastPass is a password management program that works with your browser. If you go to a website like eBay, Facebook, Zanga, it will automatically fill in your username and your password, and all you need to do is click login. Now, you may ask, why do I need that? Why don't I have the same username and password for every website I go to? The problem with that is, if one of those websites gets hacked, the hackers could potentially have your username and password. And if those are the same as your banking password, then you're compromised and cyber shit will hit the fan. So please follow along, watch the tutorial. You'll see it's very easy to set up and very easy to use. Have a great day. Go to your favorite web browser and then open up your search engine of choice. I prefer to use google.com. Go and type in LastPass, and it should be the first link that becomes available. Go ahead and click on Download, and then select either Windows or Mac, whatever you're using at the time. And on the right side, you can download the individual installation for either Firefox, Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer. Right now we're using Chrome, so download it, click Continue. The software only takes a couple of seconds to download click on install and then at LastPass will ask you to either sign into your account or create an account we'll create an account and it will ask for your email address and then for your master password this is your LastPass password, the last password you'll need to have a, a good password it would require eight characters and a number a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter and a special character like a dollar sign or a period Go and re-enter your last pass password and hit click create an account. Select the no option here, otherwise it might import a bunch of usernames and passwords that you don't really want to have included in LastPass. And again here on the form fill, select no. If LastPass has an option to autofill your address and credit card information if you choose. Now LastPass is installed as indicated by the LastPass icon in the top right corner. You can click on it and select your LastPass vault. Here is where all your usernames and passwords are stored. Right now there's none. So we will go to the preferences and change one option. We'll set it LastPass to automatically log off when your browser is closed for 15 minutes. This means if you close your browser and walk away from your computer and you're gone for more than 15 minutes if someone would start your computer and open the browser LastPass would not be logged in but if you just go and turn it off and on real quick you'll still be logged in if it's within those first 15 minutes so let's give it a test let's go to our Gmail account and test it out go ahead and log in with our Gmail account and this will be one of the last times we'll ever need to enter this in. You see, when we go to a site and log in for the first time, LastPass will ask you if you want to save that username and password. Go ahead and click Save Now. You can change the name to something more memorable. If it's a Gmail email account, you can change it to Google Mail or add your username if you want to Google Mail 452 Ladybug. and then hit save and we'll go ahead and test that sign out of our gmail account sign back in and LastPass automatically fills in the username and the password we'll sign in and there we are so right now gmail is set to a simple password that I can remember I want to change it to a secure password that I don't know so that if one of my passwords gets compromised this account won't get compromised so type in my current password and then for the new password just right click in the box and go down to last pass and select generate password you can change the some advanced options change that to 14 generate new password click accept 
LastPass automatically fills in the field for a new password and confirm new password. Click on Save. And we'll see that LastPass has noticed a change. We'll click Confirm. And now to test it to see if LastPass did save the changed password. And boom goes the dynamite. Hi, my name's Leighton Yoder. And I hope this video shows you some of the things I can do and how I can do them. If you were impressed with the ability and quality and stability of this video, please email me at Layton125 at gmail.com. Remember, there's magic in movies.